What's going on, my nation? It's your buddy Deceptive here. And today, I'm actually going to go through the trailer for The Division. Now, this video is probably going to go live tonight, slash, if not, tomorrow, which is the 7th, which is the uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time that the, game, that the game servers go live. I have already gone ahead, and as you can see, I'm waiting. Here's my game. You just... Boom, I'm just waiting, I'm just waiting. And uh, what confused me a little bit was the uh, start times. It's going to be starting at 10 p.m., which means my t tomorrow's stream, which is on Monday, is going to be a good one. It's going to be um, interesting. I'm going to start the day off doing a little bit of War Thunder, take a break, uh, uh, then come back, start up a pre-party, which is where I'm going to be sitting down talking to you guys, uh, probably showing this video, because it's a bit of a video inception here, and um, going through certain things, what I would like to see implemented in the game, uh, what is implemented in, in the game, etc., etc., stuff like that. So let's watch the trailer. Now, I've turned the volume down. So, I mean, graphically, the game looks just beautifully. Yes, we understand that this is a trailer, and this is the eye candy, and it's supposed to get you in. But there are just certain points uh, 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 within this trailer that I want to bring up to you. Um, I know that not a lot of people actually talked about the trailer. Now, you see, I, I, I've been wanting to play this game ever since I heard about this it, it, from, um, from way back in 2013. Okay, I've been waiting three years. Uh, this game was loosely mentioned uh, when they were first showing uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, uh, early alpha, alpha, alpha footage uh, 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 of Rainbow Six Siege uh, back in the, is it the 2013 or 2014. And they mentioned that there's another uh, uh, tactical shooter coming out by Tom Clancy. Now, I, I know lately Tom Clancy's been slapping his name to practically everything. I'm looking at you, Recon, uh, 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 Ghost Recon Phantoms. That is just a joke of a first-person shooter. Riddled hackers just stay away from it but these other games are pretty awesome i'm a huge fan of the splinter cell series i've played it all the way from the first game all the way up to the current one where they've completely changed sam fisher what's wrong with you leave richter ironside alone he's got such a wonderful voice but anyway um back to the video uh they're explaining how you can upgrade your base now i'm going to pause the video here in a few seconds and i want you to see something that I know that wasn't saw uh, in, in any of the alpha tests, okay? And so you don't get to talk to the cop because that mission was locked in the uh, in the beta test. Ready? Right there. Canine unit. Are we going to be able to control our own canine units? Are we going to be able to go out and try and persuade or capture or whatever a a ourselves a canine and have it follow us beard stroking moment hmm think about it though throughout the entire beta test there were stray dogs scraggling around but because you couldn't do anything with the security wing because you couldn't get the sheriff or anything you couldn't progress forward down the canine unit line or anything else for that matter. I didn't even know that there was going to be a canine unit. And I'm very active on the Ubisoft forums concerning uh, the division. Um, I'm also very vocal about this on Twitter. If you do follow me on Twitter, it's uh, Deceptive, Go uh, uh, Deceptive Cobras. You will see that I've got a lot of tweets concerning the division and how it's going to be handled. But the fact that they're coming out with us possibly with the ability to use canine units in combat. We've not seen any footage of that yet. I hope it's not going to be like what they what, what, what other games have done, where you go out, you find people, you bring them back to your, your HQ, and, and it's like, okay, I'm going to send you off on an NPC-controlled mission to 9th Street downtown and go get me resources and... 45 minutes later, they come back. Oh, this is what I found. You know, that would kind of be a bit of a pisser, but at the same time, pretty cool because it would help you with your base building and getting your base up off on the ground. As for clans, I don't know what they're going to be doing for the clan system just yet. They may be introducing 
introducing that at a later stage, but look at that dog. Look at that. It, it's like a, a cross between a German Shepherd and, and a, and a uh, spotted Doberman. Hmm, interesting. But uh, I'm, I'm, if we can maybe have a canine unit with us, that would be interesting. Um, and of course, there's the, the, the cinematic walk uh, through town. Now, some of this, what you see him do here, where he rolls the hand grenade, um, I wasn't able to do that. And as you can tell, this is console footage. I believe it's Xbox uh, One footage. And then it explodes, and then it goes off. And man, oh man. And, and see, that's one of the things I love about this game right now. And right there, the ACR. The ACR is confirmed to be in the game. Well, on the Xbox anyway. Um, I'll get more on the, what I'd like to see weapon-wise in the game here in a few. They talk about miniature safe houses around the place where you can squad up with other players and things like that. Exactly, so you take what you need, leave what you don't sort of thing, which is pretty awesome. Uh, right there, here's another... Here's another... Dear God, I'm so glad it's in there. Is the weapon that's in this woman's hand. That would be the E... BT or enhanced uh, the EBR 14 or enhanced battle rifle mark 14 um, And in his hands of course is the uh, ACR and in that guy's hands. It looks like an 817 pump shotgun police issue It looks like a police police issue uh, shotgun, which is interesting um, uh, uh, Again, I'll, I'll explain more about that in a few minutes uh, and Right there, let's see. Actually, let's go back a real quick second or two. Okay. That's an AK-47. And that's an 870 shotgun. And that looks like an M4 variant in his arm, in his, in his hands there. Okay, that's uh, a Swedish K. Looks like a Swedish K in his hands. And there's the flamethrowers. Wait a minute, was that? That wasn't, was it? No, 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 let's go, let's go back, back, back. Okay, no, it wasn't. I thought he had a, 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 a straw, uh, a fire and forget, a little mini rocket launcher, but it's not. Okay, so you've got like little barricade skills and stuff like that, and okay, reses. Um, one of the things I... I I, I'm liking about this game is the tactical e e emphasis on squad play. Now, let let me yes I know fanboyism yes. Let me go in and show you the sort of things that I'm talking about. These are some of the weapons that I would like to see implemented in the game. Maybe through DLC, maybe through other things. The tried and true traditional stock standard M16 could be the, the A1, A2 variant. Uh, could be the AR-15 variant. Doesn't bloody matter. I would really like to see an M16 in the game that you can, you know, later modify it to be uh, a nice little semi-auto uh, 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 rifle. Maybe a prelude into the EBR. Um, of course, I would also like to see a, a some kind of variant of HK416. Uh, I'm just a huge fan of the Hecklen Koch. Uh, uh, HK416. Uh, basically, the 416 platform is the M4 slash M uh, M16 platform that Heckler and Koch upgraded. Uh, uh, they took their basic platform and they modulized it, and they basically took a, 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 a nail, hit it with a German hammer, and made it absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I, I know someone who actually does own a few of these. I've fired them a couple of times. Just the way it feels, the way it shoulders, just oh just oh god gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i would i mean it crying out it's used by the navy seals and delta force it is an awesome 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 weapon um with it being that said it would be on u.s soil so it would make sense if this was maybe a blue or a purple drop maybe in a dark zone it would make sense because uh, um uh, uh, according to the law of the game they would send navy seals they would send delta force they would send special ops into the dark zones and if they tragically happen to die who's to say that they haven't left a nice hk416 uh, 416 or 417 in there the 417 of course being the semi or o uh, 308 variant tried and true gotta love it p90 
or, or the PS90, whatever you want to call it. Um, frankly, I would love to see this in the game. I don't believe it is in the game, and if it is, great, we can skip it. If not, reason why I'd like to see the P90. Uh, P90 is readily available uh, through your federal firearms dealer within the U.S., uh, it's again. It's also used by a lot of special forces, most notably Rangers, uh, some Delta Force, some Navy SEALs. Uh, it's used by the uh, um, IGIN, the French, uh, the French Special Forces. It's used by the German Special Forces. Uh, it's used by. It was used for a while by the British Special Forces. Um, you know, it, it, you can get it chambered in the twenty-two, or you can get it chambered in a nine millimeter. Um, it, it's a beautiful all-round ball pop weapon. Um, can put suppressors on it reticles on it trigger mods you name it um it's a polymer stock weapon which means it, it, it is incredibly light uh, uh so you know it, it, i would like it is a very tactical weapon um that you could have uh, um yeah, i believe you can also get it in a 45 but that was a very rare uh, a production run uh, i believe it was for special ops only in a 45 acp uh then of course tried and true mtar um reason why the mtar again ball pop easy to easy to use easy to maneuver perfect for an urban environment uh, you're not going to get caught up on anything with like a, an extended long barrel sadly like you would with an m16 um or, or a suppressed m4 because the the barrel length of a suppressed m4 even if it's a 16 inch barrel is the same overall barrel length as, a, as an m16 so you take your m16 even with a suppressor that's even a longer barrel you see what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, MTAR would be a good little selection. Again, you can you can get it in a, from a federal firearms dealer. Um, you can even get it from a few gun gun shows slash trade shows. Uh, it's an interesting weapon. Uh, you know, just an all-round interesting weapon that um, I think deserves a shot at least at the division. Uh, this white weapon is in the division. I, I know this because I actually had it for a while during the beta. It's the M1 Garen. Uh, I converted mine up to be a 10 round uh, uh, um, a scoped uh, 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 weapon that I used to pin certain units down while my teammates could flank and take them out. Most notably the boss with the flamethrower in, uh, 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 in the arena and various other things. That's what I mostly used it for was for, was for for suppressing slash headshotting when I when I, when I finally unlocked the uh, scope that gave you like it's like a hundred percent damage to headshots it was ridiculous I was one shot in bosses almost and of course the EBR 14 we did see it in the video as I showed it to you um, which means fingers crossed it's in the game and if it is uh, I do plan on getting it I, I will be comparing it to other weapons very similar like the M1 Garand uh, of course the M1 was the, the the predecessor to the EBR 14, uh, along with the Mark 14, uh, along with the uh, um, Mark 14 uh, rifle from uh, Vietnam. So you know, again, um, tactically wise, this is probably a weapon that would probably be used by a a, a specialized unit. Uh, as you can see, it's it's designed for a a designated marksman. So in the the division's law, uh, it would probably be used by. Um, more of a lone wolf kind of figure um or a mercenary sort of hiding out you know radio him he's got the red dot laser sight boom, you know kills off a target for you like you see him doing the movies again it's a good gun uh for all you alternate alternate people out there that, that say that bows are not a viable weapon horseshit i am a bow hunter i have bows in real life i love my bows i go bow hunting with my friends we hunt Boar, bear, elk, moose, you, you freaking name it. We hunt it with bows. These are compound, these are compound, these are compound, com, these are compound bows. And they can do anywhere between, you know, low end 75 pounds per square inch all the way up to 250-ish pounds per square inch, depending on your cams and your strings and your, and, and of course, your uh, uh, arrow shaft. Uh, yes, I know, I said shaft. Basically, I, I've seen some compound bows shoot an arrow plumb through one side of a car and out through the other. So don't give me no shit about an arrow is not a viable weapon. Of course it is. Um, just ask Genghis Khan. Uh, he ruled the majority of China just using a bow and arrow. So I think, you know, it would be nice. It is a compact sort of weapon. 
uh, in size. Uh, Red Bull, decent firepower, quiet. Um, I mean, it could be a viable weapon, maybe in a DLC pack uh, uh, later on. And uh, I'm not sure if this is in the game. I, I didn't come across it. I didn't come across a lot of shotgun users in the game. But the Spass 12, um, an iconic shotgun, uh, 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 mostly because it's in movies like uh, Snatch and uh, various other movies in England where it's like, what the fuck is that, Sol? This is a shotgun. No, that's an anti-aircraft gun, Vincent. You know, again, it's known in movies, Terminator, you know, various other movies. Um... But, viably, you can obtain a SPAS-12 legally in the US. Again, I'm looking at the legality here of the weapons as, as to justify it, it being in the US. You can import SPAS-12s. You can buy SPAS-12s. Um, you can even buy modified SPAS-12s as well. Uh, shortened barrels. They're known, known as a snub-nose SPAS-12. You can get those. Uh, the SR-25... Uh, 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 semi-automatic platform this is, is the bigger brother to the HK417 um, pretty much it's an M16 based platform so any parts from an M16 are interchangeable with the SR25 but it is solely designed as a semi-automatic sniper rifle it does fire the set I believe it fires a 762 around um, or a th or, or the Winchester 308. I, think, I believe it's the Winchester 308 is what they finally went with in the initial with the finished platform. And um, again, I can see it as an alternative to, to other uh, 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 marksman's weapons in the game. Uh, as you can see, it is used by the Marines right there. It, it is also used by special forces, as you can see in these perfectly poised uh, 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 pictures that have actually been flipped. You can tell because the flag patch on his arm is wrong but um again the the the, the um, sr-25 was also extensively used in afghanistan and uh iran and iraq sorry so you know now we're looking at some more more commonly uh, uh imported quote-unquote weapons we're looking at the the russian side now we're going to be taking a look at the aks-74u not the uh, 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 now the aks-74u is the civilian import of the the AK-74, uh, uh, Skroyu, AK short, Kursk, for, uh, which means short. Um, it's a tanker's uh, 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 a weapon. Uh, the real one used by the, the Russian army is a fully automatic with a select fire. Uh, the uh, um, American imported variant, unfortunately, only has a uh, single shot. But you can go to the right Federal Firearms dealer and he can turn it into the fully automatic. Uh, but doing so, there is a huge, and I do mean a huge, tax stamp on that. So in theory, yes. Legality-wise, yes. Law-wise, yes, because there is AK, there is AK-47s in the game. Now, the SIG 5.56. Again, a legal weapon you can own in the US. Um, I know this because I live in the US. But most importantly, it is a legal weapon for you to own in the US. You can own this weapon. Um, you can't own it in California, and I believe you cannot own it in Washington, but you can own it in the majority of states. The state I live in is Utah, and the SIG 556 is legal for Utah. The reason why it's illegal in California is right there, the folding stock. It makes it too short. It's therefore considered a uh, carbine. But the SIG 556, again, um, you can get it in the XL, you can get it in the R, uh, you, you, it's used by SWAT, um, and you do see a lot of police cars and various other uh, um, law enforcement and military vehicles in the in, in New York where the, the story is set. So it would make sense if the, the SIG 556 did make an appearance in the game. So it, it's well within all three of these common law branches. Now we're going to take a look at another German weapon. We're going to take a look at the uh, Heckler & Koch MP9. I'm a huge fan of the the the, the uh, MP9 and the MP7s. Uh, MP9s, of course, is the nine millimeter variant, uh, 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 and the MP7 being the nine millimeter variant, variant but with the uh, oh god, it's got this word funky German. But anyway, basically, it's this is the imported variant of the MP uh, of the MP7. 
And reason why I'm, I, I say this, sidearm. It's the same size as a, a, a re relevant, heavily modified pistol. Uh, weighs a little bit more than that, of course. Uh, as you can see with this gentleman's picture right here, he's holding uh, it with the stock extended, of course, with the forward grip. He's got an additional uh, EOTech sight, extended mag, and suppressor with a flashlight slash laser combo. Um, very similar what you can do in uh, um, Rainbow Six Siege, because I actually have that weapon. It's a Mac, it's a Mac 11, unfortunately, with the Brit with a, a sledgehammer. But ultimately, it's still a viable weapon that is within uh, uh, the, 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 the law, and you can... The, the law of the game, not law as in like legal representation, but the law, the story of the, the game. Most importantly, it is not illegal to own in the US. You can own this weapon. I believe you can buy this over the counter in Texas. Uh, I believe Jesse James actually owns a couple uh, of uh, MP7s and MP9s that he did uh, heavily modify himself. So, the PDWR. Now, this weapon is a, a big thing of controversy as the PDWR is a personal defense weapon. It is technically classed as a pistol. Uh, by legal definition, it's technically classed as a pistol. Uh, so, I don't know how it would be used uh, um, in the game. Would they use it as a... As a as an SMG, would they class it as a sidearm? I don't know. Um, but again, tactically, perfectly viable for a city, for an urban environment. It's small, it's compact, it, 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 it can be heavily modified without it really greatly affecting the, the overall usefulness of the weapon. As you can see from some of these actual pictures, this one here has an EOTech sight, and I believe it has a uh, snub nose suppressor. Because uh, it is a pistol, you can fit it with certain pistol uh, modifications. Here's another one here with a flash hider and an EOTech sight on it. Again, it, it, it would fit just perfect uh, in the lore of the game. Um, tactically, it would it, tactically, it's a sound, viable weapon for a person to use in an urban environment should something like this actually happen. Um, then we go back to uh, some Russian weapons. We're going to take a look at the AK-98. Now, the AK-98 was a prototype weapon. Um, there was a limited number of these manufactured. So I could see this possibly as like a boss weapon um, because some of them were imported into the US. Not many, but some. Uh, mostly for R&D, research, uh, modifications, upgrades, etc., etc. So uh, I could see the AK-98 uh, being it now, now the AK-98 is a very unique variant of the Kalashnikov, which is it fires the first two rounds in a concussive burst, which means it's twice instantly from one trigger pull, uh, and then the rest of the rounds all at uh, the uh, same fire rate. So it has a variable fire rate, which makes it a very interesting weapon. Uh, I I think it, it, law wise, uh, it could fit in. Uh, it, it say some of the Russian mob. Uh, 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 were after some of the biotech weapons, etc. So you could see a, a, in a story arc line, yes, it could be technically viable. Um, Law-wise, is it legally? Can you legally own this weapon within the U.S.? Yes, you can, as long as a you've got you've gone to the right federal firearms dealer, and two you've passed the background checks. Yes, you can legally own an AK-98. Uh, of course, the tried and true org. I think that the, the Sterner Org uh, uh, is a weapon that's always overlooked. It has been heavily modified since its initial inception in the late 60s, early 70s. You've got the A1, the A2, the A3, and the, uh, the H-Bar. You've also got the A3U variant. Now, the A3U variant, if we look at the A3s, as you can see, you can see the uh, A3U variant, which uh, basically just very similar to this. Uh, uh, this is the a, a, um, the A3 SF variant, but the the, the U variant, um, you can, it's got a rail at the bottom, rail on the top, rails on the sides. Basically, it's more of a modular uh, automatic weapon, and that's it. It's just automatic. There is no pew or pew pew pew. It's just full on pew 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 pew. pew. That's it. Uh, it also comes in various calibers. You can get it in 556, uh, 762. Um, you can even get it in a 308 variant. Um, Trust me, you don't want a fully automatic that thing. Um, 
And again, this is a weapon I would like to see uh, law-wise. It fits. Legal Legality-wise, you can buy this weapon. Um, you can buy the A1, the A2, and the A3 variant at any federal firearms uh, licensed dealer um, across the U.S. So there's no, no legal reason why you wouldn't have this weapon in the game. And of course, the ACR. We did see the ACR in the game. Um, of course, uh, we don't know what variant of ACR. There's multiple variants of ACR, uh, 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 of ACR. And of course, with that coming along, we don't see anything about a SCAR. Uh, as you can see, there's multiple different variants of SCAR. I'm going to sneeze. I can just feel it in my nose. There's multiple variants of SCAR. You've got the sniper rail platform. You've got the 308. <coughs> oh, bless me. The 308 platform. And you know what? There's another weapon I just thought of that's not in the game. The FS-2000. Um, the FS-2000, you can buy this weapon. It is legal to own within the United States. Um, it is technically considered a, a CQB weapon. Again, it's a light polymer-based weapon uh, with the uh, brass being ejected through the front of the weapon, not out the sides. Um, literally, it, it's an amazing weapon. Uh, uh, I believe this one's the 556 variant um, but I think it, it's again it's another weapon that I, I, I legally you legality wise yes you can own within the US uh, I mean look here you go that that right there is a fully extended uh, uh, M4 16 inch and it's under it size wise look there's a P90 as well do you see it's just a hair bigger than a p90 so that should tell you something where it would fit within the law um i think it would fit within the law um i know that it was used by some special forces uh not many but some uh so you could see a civilian import of it maybe a semi-automatic maybe a three-round burster so you could see a, a, a civilian import of the fs2000 within the game um, again, these are just some of my ideas that are coming off the top of my head. As for the, uh, as for if they're in the game or not, we won't know until the game goes live. Again, what I saw from the beta, we've got the M4 guaranteed, MP5 guaranteed, M1 guaranteed, uh, M249 uh, uh, saw guaranteed, RPK uh, 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 is in, AK47 is in. Um, and I think that's about it that all we saw of recognized weapons. Uh, um, the Mozzie and the Gan, of course. Um, the reason why I haven't really touched on bolt action weapons um, mostly is because nowadays, in, in modern era weaponry, bolt actions aren't really that used anymore, with the exception of the M24 Woodland, which is used by American SWAT and some, some marksman units within the US military, i.e. the Rangers and um, the Marine Corps. But other than that, most people use the Barrett 50 caliber, which is a semi-automatic sniper rifle. Most people don't seem to understand this. The Barrett 50 caliber is a semi-automatic. It is a gas, oper a gas blowback operated sniper rifle, just like the SR-25. The only difference is the SR-25 is a 7.62 to 308 caliber and the Barrett 50 caliber is a 50 caliber round. Or the Pink Mist, as it's called. And I, I, would, I would love to see the Barrett 50 cal maybe in the game. Um, make it a like a purple rare weapon. Um, dark zone weapon. But, you know, again, this is just my two cents, guys. Um, if you think I'm, you know, if you think some of these weapons would be a great idea... Please leave a comment down below in the video in in, in the comment section uh, if you have any idea of what weapons you would like to see in the game. Again, please leave your comments down below, and uh, I may do a follow up video on this. If you like this sort of video series, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Again, all your feedback helps me immensely. And as always, guys, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, my friends, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. So take care.